Welcome to Trades Tutor, your home for math and science for the trades, simplified. So let's get going. Today we're going to go through fitting allowance and how that works. All right, so first thing is, question. You've been asked to cut and thread a piece of black iron pipe, which will fit between two 90 degree fittings having a center to center measurement of two feet four inches. How do you go about that? What do you do? How long do you cut the piece of pipe? So, start with a few definitions. One is, there's your center to center between the two 90s, and you need to cut a piece of pipe that fits in between those, or threads into each of those 90s between those. Next definition, end to end. That's the length of pipe you're going to cut. So, you once you cut that pipe, it's going to go right between those 90s, threaded in. But how long? All right, here we go. So, what you're looking to do is that. You'd thread it in on each side, fit beautifully, and your center to center would be two feet, four and a half inches. Perfect. All right. Now, take a 90, make it transparent, and what we're going to do is find out the different parts or different measurements here. First thing's called the face to center. So, from the face, you can see into the center of the fitting and we'll give it a random number of two inches. You can actually find these numbers in a pipe, trade hand, pipe trades handbook, depending on the different pipe, the different size, so on and so forth. I'm just using some random numbers I've made up. That's the first one, face to center. Now the pipe's got to thread into this. How far does it thread in? That's what we call the thread engagement. And it's going to go and thread in. Some threads will stay going to the fitting, some threads will be on the outside. But that's how far the pipe is actually thread into it. Okay, so we remember, there we go. We'll say the thread engagement is 7 eighths. Now, remember our face to center measurement, okay, all the way across. And what we're left with, oh, there we go, face to center is 2 inch. What we're left with is that space. That's like a dead air space. That's what we're actually trying to calculate. And that, is your fitting allowance. So, the formula to find the fitting allowance is you take the face to center and you minus the thread engagement and that gives you that dead air space. And that's the most important calculation you need when finding the end-to-end -end measurement or cutting the piece of pipe. Alright, so using our math, 2 inches minus 7 eighths of an inch our dead, a, dead air space, or the fitting allowance, is one and one-eighth of an inch. All right, there you go. There's the original drawing. The center to center is two feet, four and a half inches. And we have a fitting allowance on either side, because we have a 90 on either side. Okay. So to calculate the end to end, or the piece of pipe, we'd say our center to center, and we'd minus the fitting allowance on either side, or two fitting allowances. Okay. Two feet four and a half minus one and one eighth minus one and one eighth. And what we'll end up with is two feet two and a quarter. That is the length of pipe that we have to cut. There you go. That's it. You cut it, you thread it on either side, you thread it in, and bingo, you got your center to center measurement of two feet four and a half inches by cutting a piece of pipe two feet two and a quarter inches and doing your fitting allowance calculations. All right, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and have a great day.